Hello, hello everyone. This is me, of course, John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. And we're going to do another edition of the da 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 Ghost Hunters Report. Now, if you're not aware of this by now, starting on April 1st, Shibuya Ward here in metropolitan Tokyo area plans to issue same-sex marriage certificates for the first time in the history of Japan. It's a landmark uh, movement uh, for LGBT people. Now, there's been some pretty harsh resistance to this. The LDP, or the ruling government, the far right here, has recently set up a uh, committee to try to find a way to block it. Now, the committee, I believe, is called the Committee for Protecting Traditional Marriage Ties, or something like that. And basically, they're trying to look at Article 24 of the Japanese Constitution, I believe, that says... A marriage must be you must have consent between both sexes now the word both sexes in there they're claiming isn't to interpret uh, people of opposite sex but the word itself can, does not specific, specifically imply that it's opposite genders or opposite sex it just says both sexes there's a different word I believe that would define that more clearly so the legal grounds for it is not really there but they're really trying hard but it does look like this is going to happen on April the 1st. I said this would be a big moment for the LGBT community here in Japan. It'll solve a lot of problems they face with discrimination, especially when they're trying to get through the bureaucracy of Japan. When you're recognized as a married, married couple, things are far easier for you. And that'll apply to Shibuya Award only at this time. Now, I'll set the Guy Award also in Tokyo. I said they would like to do the same thing as better service the people living in the ward. So you have one ward going through it, Shibuya. And I said the guy has also said we'd like to do it too, but I think what they're going to do is wait to see how this works. And if it works well and it's able to go through, I'm sure Seta Gaia will propose the same legislation for their ward. And another uh, actually interesting news regarding this the mayor of Yokohama has come out and said, we'd like to do this for the entire city. Yokohama is the second largest city in Tokyo. That's going far further than what Tokyo is doing currently. Now, there's been this one far-right conservative group. I'll try to put a link. You can read their name. But they're claiming that this is very dangerous. Because seeing that Japan already has a population crisis, this will only make it worse as it would encourage people to live a gay lifestyle. Well, it's really not going to have any effect on the population here at all because the gay lifestyle is not a lifestyle. It's who you are. You're effectively born that way. It's part of you. So you weren't going to be someone who was going to be reproducing to help the population anyways. And if you were, there's many options for gay couples to do so. Adoption, surrogate mothers, things like that. So really, you know, the resistance to this is not really sh strong, it's really loud. Now my concern about this is it starts to go through. Some of these more far right wing fascist groups in Japan, they might get violent. If they get violent, I think the LGP, LGBT community is in full their right to defend themselves. And I feel that everyone should stand up for them if anything starts to happen. But I did want to do a video on this to highlight this. Because this, this is actually a big deal in Japan. So I want to hear what you think about all of this. Leave a comment in the comic box below. Spread this video around. Get this information out. Have some discussions on your own parts of social media where you're at about this, using this video. If it's the first time you see me, hey, come on, be a good citizen and subscribe. Until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Check it out.